Schmidman, professor emeritus from Texas A&M University, and I received my Ph.D. from Texas A&M University in 1966. I studied ag economics at Texas A&M, but I also studied it at Kansas State University. And my background, my background is I grew up on a farm in Kansas in the 30s when Depression, Dust Bowl, and so forth. But agriculture is one of the, is one of the leading basic industries in the United States, and as a consequence, it is a very lucrative area to be in because there are lots of job opportunities and a tremendous variation in the types of opportunities that exist in the department in the agricultural sector. Another thing is that the agricultural sector in the United States is one of the most efficient in the world. People spend in the United States a little less than 10% of their income for food. And when you look at the statistics for the rest of the world, most of the countries are 20% and up from there. So this, I think, means there are lots of opportunities. This is why I stayed in agriculture. Well, <clears throat> I think one of the things that was very interesting was in 1950, I was selected as an International Farm Youth Exchange student, and the country that they chose for me was Germany. And this started my career interest in foreign countries and in foreign nationalities for the rest of my life. <clears throat> and one of the reasons that my wife and I accepted a job in Ethiopia, Africa with Oklahoma State University to teach in a four-year college, agricultural college, that they were operating <clears throat> as an aid program. I think success is happiness. If you're successful, you and your family should be happy, and you should be able to create happiness among your associates, and in my case, among former students and students at Texas A&M University and at Kansas State and Oklahoma State and Imperial Ethiopian College in Africa. Well, that was a wonderful, wonderful experience, and I'm very proud to have been selected because I knew Tyrus R. Tim, Dr. Tim. He was one of the finest administrators that I've ever worked for. And I always remember the first fall that I was on the faculty. Uh, <clears throat> He got up and he told us, he said, now, gentlemen, he said, the classes are about to start and you need to get ready for the students and that means that you wear a coat and a tie for class and also that you remember <clears throat> that you're an employee of the state of Texas and when you tell Texans where to go, 98% of them are not going to do it. Well, I've had several students like that, and I think you need to advise them as to what the opportunities are in the different sectors. And in my case, the sectors were land economics, real estate, agriculture in general, and the job opportunities that are in those areas and available, uh, which will give you happiness and keep you occupied for the years that you 
will be employed.